Hello, and welcome back to episode 9 of the Milk Bar Podcast, our bi-weekly podcast. Stop banging on the table. <laughs> keep, keep going, keep going. Bi-weekly what? podcast, what? Why would you interrupt me? <laughs> I know you're when under pressure, ever, but, bruv, When do we ever interrupt you? Audio, audio. I'm just thinking about the viewers. They don't want to hear... Dish, dish, dish. So, maybe what were you saying? Maybe bi-weekly they do. podcast. Makes it more maybe real, they maybe. do, yeah. Exactly. Bi-weekly podcast covering comedic commentary. Pop culture from the week prior. And that'll include, believe it or not, recent news, games, food, and more. Oh, there he's done that well, was my, That was, my that was fairly voice. smooth. All right, hang on. <laughs> the rest of the cards. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's taking yeah. it all. Sure. <laughs> Do you want the rest of them? <laughs> Go on, Chris. He's getting a bit bitter now. I've just done it. Yeah, yeah, Welcome yeah. to the Milk Bar Podcast. Yeah, we've exactly. already gone through Thank this. God, yeah, his, done the he's rubbing his job now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, because fuck. he's not taking my job. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, do we need, do we need him anymore? Yeah, I think we should get rid yeah. of this guy. <laughs> Do you know what I feel like? I feel like every, bo- every podcast should have a different person saying it. Fuck you. No, nah, because when... <laughs> you're, you're, you're the next one. Yeah, you're why are you volunteering up? yourself yeah. as well? Because you know you'd have to do it. Yeah, but he has to do it. <laughs> he, he, he hates it, you know. <laughs> Even though he'd hate himself he, doing it. Himself he would suffer to watch me <laughs> <Yeah>. suffer. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to suffer just to see you suffer. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Fair enough. Well done, Chris. Oh, well, there you are, you see. I like that. I like that. How right. do you? So, I am as well. Next Should day. we actually do that though? Like Stephen's idea of. If you want. It's up to you guys. I'm not asked. No, I'm not asked either. It takes a little bit of pressure off me. No. And it's funny as fuck because look at him. He's so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Segment one story of the week. A segment where some of the milkmen volunteered to tell a story of something that's happened to them recently or in the past. Then we, the milkmen, will decide which of those stories is the best story. And it's the best story of the week. Has anyone got any stories? I've actually got one if anyone wants to think about what theirs yeah, is. Go. Okay. So, my story is called Two Bottles of Rum, One Toilet, and a Rather Large Headache. A novel by Osha. Oh, always a toilet with you. And last, last Mate, time it wasn't. In fair. fairness, yeah, I didn't get to the toilet last time. <laughs> no, so this time, I think it was me, Ellis, and Callum that we, uh, oh, okay. it was during COVID, so we all had to stay home. And uh, I was a bit of an alcoholic at this time. And, well, still are. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Um, no, so I used to like going out on the town with the lads, but we couldn't because it was COVID. Mm. So we decided, uh, right, we're just going to watch a film, have a few drinks online, you know, together like a watch party. Uh, so I had, I think I think this was the night that we did a stream where I was doing like every five pound donated, I'd have to dra- down a pint. And then Alice ended up donating 30 quid. <laughs> so I had an entire crate to myself. I, I was there. Yeah. Was You're welcome. welcome. And then we watched the film afterwards and uh, we just had a few more drinks. Anyway, finished the film and then I'm like, I'm pouring more drinks out of my, de- my decanter. Yeah, I'm a classy bitch. So <laughs> rum in my decanter. So I was pouring that. And I was like, right, okay, enjoying this. Yeah, nice. And then my decanter was empty. So I was like, ah, oh, let's go and get another bottle. Got another bottle of rum. And then it got to about 5 a.m., and I'd finished another bottle of rum. So I'd had eight pints, a decanter full of rum, plus another bottle of rum. And it was 5 a.m., like I say. So me and Alice were talking all night. Just I can't remember what it was. I think it was about stocks well, or something. We were talking about the um, fucking what's GameStop. Yeah, so we were just talking about that for ages. I was just, I, I didn't even feel that drunk, though, <laughs> at that point, because I hadn't moved. I'd just been sat down in my, ga- like my office chair watching this film, then pouring drinks, whatever, from my chair. So I hadn't moved. So the alcohol also hadn't moved. So I wasn't actually that drunk. Man. Anyway, I was like, right, it's a bit late now, Ellis, so I'm going to I'm gonna head off. And uh, I don't remember anything from that point. <laughs> um, and then I sort of blacked out. And then the, la- the last thing I remember from that night is blacking back in, like zoning back in. I'm on the toilet and I threw up everywhere <laughs> and shat at the same time. <laughs> And then all I hear is my mum just knocking on the door. You all right, sweetie? I'm like, <laughs> just everywhere. What's the matter with you? I don't know. But in fairness, that's a lot to drink. Two, nah. bottles, two bottles of rum and eight pints. Nah, that's an easy weekend. That's, that's a soft drink for me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was there watching the movie. What, what did you watch? It was like Wolf of Wall Street, wasn't it? I think it might have been. Yeah. Something like that. a long like movie, that. too. Yeah. Huh? That's a long movie as well. Yes. Well, mate, I was drinking from like 8 p.m. until 5 a.m. Mm. And yeah. Nice. And it didn't help that I had like 
a takeaway that night. Let's just put it that way. The bathroom Plus, floor yeah, was a mess. And we know how like, weak your bowels are the best yeah. of times. Yeah. So, yeah. Disgusting. Anyway, yeah. So, so, Next morning, rough. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it was a dog. Uh, no, I felt, I, that was, yeah, the worst hangover I've ever had in my life. Um, and you have to, like, figure out which way to face. Like, do you shit on the floor or do you be sick on the floor? Do you know what I mean? Oh, you didn't have oh, no, a choice. I, no, I, no, I chose that I'd rather clean up sick. You know what I mean? So I, was I don't know sat. why you didn't move back as far as you could. Open your legs wide and go through the <laughs> Turn yeah. one. It's a good idea. That just, I would, have, no, that wouldn't have worked. Good idea. That would have been sick all over my junk. So, no. Anyway. Imagine like you can't just get in a shower. <sighs> Mate, I couldn't even see. <laughs> I couldn't stand up. Like, there's no chance I'm going, right, yeah, I'm going to have a collective thought and go, yeah, I'm going to have a shower. No. There was literally no fucking thoughts in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah next morning that was rough and then i didn't have anything to eat and then i tried some water immediately came back up it was like the worst i've ever felt i think i was hungover for about three days <laughs> man well nothing nothing's gonna top that let's be honest with you. <laughs> i have some pretty good stories all i'm saying <laughs> they all involve shit. Reckon, Simon, can. you want to hear the story of the, the only time i've been, ever been blackout drunk yeah it's one time it's happened um it was like, there's only like three of us in my mate's house and I thought it was absolute vodka that I was drinking but it was actually Russian standard you know the big two litre bottles of it yeah I had that to myself as you do yeah and mate, that like I don't remember anything from the night I woke up in my mate's guest bed don't know how I got there but I checked my phone the next morning after I was done throwing up, I tried to take a painkiller. My head was banging, and I just threw up all over his house. But <laughs> <laughs> I looked on my, I looked on my phone, right, and I'd made a load of vines. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> yeah. While I was blackout drunk, like, and it was just the, the stupidest things, right? Was, like, I had this like inflatable dolphin, and I was like swimming it around in the air. <laughs> what? And, like shit, like at me. I was like, what is all of this shit here? <laughs> it was like you could, like, I was slurring around. I was like, dolphin. <laughs> Did you Don't save me. them? No, I, well, they'll probably still be on Vine. Like, I didn't delete them. They're, they'll still be there, but Vine's gone, didn't it? So, yeah, I wonder if there's never... a way to find them. <laughs> if you could, mate, they are the stupidest videos I've ever made in my life. So you posted them as well? Yeah, I completely blackout drunk, made them, posted them. <laughs> Steven's on it. <laughs> He's got his phone out. You'll find it immediately, yeah. It was very strange. And I think that was the night where it was like, you know, it was when Neck Nomination was about. Hmm? You know, do you remember Neck Nominations? No. You don't? Hmm. Well, I... Like, you'd have to down a drink and then somebody would nominate and it would, yeah. you'd, you'd nominate a friend and they have to down a drink and shit like that. But like we made, um, I got nominated by someone, one of my mates, and then I did it out of um, a dog bowl, yeah? Um, oh no. A load of alcohol in the dog bowl. I was in the shower with the shower <laughs> on. And I was like, this is my neck nomination. <laughs> <laughs> I was completely fucked, me. I was just drinking out of a dog bowl. Like, I, I don't know, it was a weird night. <laughs> It's strange. Oh, God. It was good, though. I just I love alcohol, don't you? It's mental, isn't it? It's so good. Can we go drinking after this? How is it so accessible? It's insane. I know, yeah. <laughs> well, wasn't it, like, illegal in the 1930s or something? What? Alcohol? Yeah. Yeah, they had, like, a pro 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 prohibition. prohibition yeah. 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 Yeah, but did you also know? I don't know the exact date, but it's fairly recent, like, probably within the last 20, 30, maybe 40 years, that in Russia... Anything, I think it was below five or six percent was deemed as a soft drink, so yeah. kids wow. could order a beer. Yeah, how crazy is that? Yeah, I would say I'm going to Russia, but no thanks. Yeah, probably not the best time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're in a bit of a rough, yeah, it's a bit they're of, they're yeah. a bit of a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Some yeah. <of> that. yeah. <laughs> Anyone got any stories? Seaman's still just looking he's for still these vines. He's, he's, like, he's desperately gonna looking. The whole podcast is just going to be scrolling now. Like, yeah. I, right don't, the end. I don't really have a story for it because it kind of takes a turn and I don't really want to disclose that because it's a private matter. But um, uh, I remember, so this is like the first time I got blackout drunk and threw up from alcohol. And it was with my dad and we decided to like take a weekend out of town to some random spot. Mm-hmm. And it's all a bit of a haze, and it, this was years ago, so I don't remember half the story. But I remember what made me throw up. My dad decided to give me a pint of sours, I think it's called. A, a pint. pint of sours. A yeah, pint of sours. Good. <laughs> we, so I'd never tried it. My dad had never tried it. We had like a little 
I don't know what, it's not a shot, shot but... Hmm? A shot. No, not a shot, a little bit bigger because we didn't know what we were ordering. So we tried it and we're like, this is fucking well nice. You could give this to kids because it was just so well, I mean, sweet. Don't. Don't. Don't, don't give do that. sour shots don't, to kids. Don't. That's what but, we said at the time. Yeah. Um, so we were like, fucking hell, let's get more of this. And we had a, ordered a pint. I had that straight away. And uh, the rest is history. <laughs> Mate, imagine the barmaid or barman. Yeah, like yeah, I'll have a pint of the fucking thing <laughs> yeah. that you give to people for shots. shots. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My um my dad my dad the bastard that he is he um recorded the events when I got back to the hotel room. Oh no! And it wasn't too bad, but I was just like whimpering while I was throwing up. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I wasn't okay. For reference to any Americans, if they don't know what sours is, it's like a fifteen percent alcoholic beverage that people like teenagers use as a shot because it's not as strong as like whiskey or yeah. vodka. Pussies have it basically, mm. but not in pint form. Yeah, <laughs> that's in a, a new shot level. form, a little glass like that, not a fucking pint like a psycho. It was all good fun. Damn. Okay, oh. nice. I've yeah. never been out drinking with my dad since. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Crazy. So uh... I'm, I've never been blackout drunk. We can change that no, tonight works. if you want. You've never been blackout never drunk? Been, no. Oh, mate, I've been blackout drunk too many times. <laughs> while driving? While, no, 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 no. <laughs> not whilst driving, but I am drunk. <laughs> Just not blackout, it's fine. Not blackout. Yeah, drunk, as long no. as you don't blackout. I know what I'm doing. Right? I don't take yeah. the pitch, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't take the fucking mick. <laughs> Danny, you got any stories? Uh, no. I've got a story. No. Okay, you, go on, Chris. You, sorry, you were, sorry. Sorry, Chris. Alice. But you, you were going to tell us a story about a, a mountain climb or something weren't you oh i i, I went up snowden at like 3 a.m this morning were they good views i saw you snapchat oh yeah it, it was a cloud <laughs> <laughs> i was in a cloud brilliant that so you there. didn't even check the weather oh uh, no we did it was much clear oh but up right. snowden it can change very quickly brilliant so you walked so, all the way up to snow yeah. <laughs> and then you got there and you couldn't see fucking anything yeah but in all fairness the average time up snowden is about three hours and we did it in an hour and a half Three isn't it up and down in three hours? Are you joking? Seriously, yeah, but people are slow. Aren't yeah. they? Depends what trail as well. Mate, I'm up there in twenty minutes. Get the tram. <laughs> <laughs> now, funnily yeah. enough, that you mentioned Snowden, I've got to do um, like a charity gig for work, and mm. we're going to be walking up Snowden. It's easy, but we do. Yeah, but we're doing it like you, so that we. I think we're getting to our office um, for like I can't actually remember, but like really early in the morning, and then mm. we're having to walk up in the dark, which. I know, I know it's for charity, but... It, it does help to walk up in the dark. How does that help? Because you can't see how steep it is. <laughs> oh, so you're not like, yeah, so oh, you're not God, like, you're yeah, not like overwhelmed. Yeah. Right, I'd rather see. <laughs> I wouldn't. Do you like the fear? Use a torch. Yeah, no, I use it as like, you, can, you can't you can fucking do this. And then I prove myself wrong. <laughs> I like that. I respect that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you do it, though? No. Stupid fucking idea. It's just a big <laughs> hill. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, have you found these vines? No, I need his username for vine. I can uh, get it. We'll look later. Um, Chris, what was your story? Oh, if yeah. I interrupted, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> God, Ellis. I mean, can I also just interrupt you again? <laughs> <laughs> no, so, well, I just no, tell the no story. because you didn't actually... I know you did the intro and that, and you did really well. Brilliant. Oh, well yeah. Done, but you didn't say who's on the podcast. It's true, you didn't. It's oh, us. come on. They should know about it. Who's just going straight for this episode? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll just go to episode fucking nine. I said, well, sorry, ah, you never know. Start. You never know, yeah, mate. You never know. Somebody might jump right, in. Shall I add the names? We got Sneaky Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky Simon. That's yeah, me. We got uh, Elegant Ellis. Elegant Ellis. We've got Cocksucker Chris. I mean, oh, wow. <laughs> 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 hang on, sorry. Uh, we've got Dicker Danny. Well, well, hang on, what's yours? He's Cock just said. <laughs> what? Is that actually yours? You know he said Scott, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I don't know okay. how to correct that. We've got... Uh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> well, one for um, Oshan. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, offensive Oshan. I was going to go with obese. Uh, sexy Steven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. He's <laughs> called him fat. Okay. Obese Oshan. Brilliant. <laughs> and satanic <laughs> Steven. Yeah, go on. Yeah, go. that's... He is evil, to be fair. Yeah. I said sexy, but we'll go with satanic. Same thing. Both. Is it, what? Is it? <laughs> anyway, carry on with your story. Oh, yeah. So this story, it technically... Can I just interrupt you there? <laughs> <laughs> no, right. 
Danny, do you want to interrupt me before? No, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> okay. We just want to hear the story, to be fair, mate. It's not, yeah. it's not even worth it. It isn't even really worth it. <laughs> he's going to say he's bought new jeans <laughs> or something, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> so I was, I was shopping for like, LA sauce the other night. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they had a fifty percent offer on jeans. <laughs> oh, right, come yeah, on, so, come on. And it's not, it's not even my story. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> so, someone I work with, I won't say their name, mm. just because I better not. Do you know what I mean? But they're like a similar to, a similar age to us. Anyway, she started like like messaging this guy on Tinder, or whatever, messaging back and forwards. Um, she he seems alright. She's a bit of a lad, lad, whatever. He uh, he comes around to her house one night. Uh, as soon as he gets there, she's like, "Hang on a minute." He does like this wave or something. She she got the vibe that he might be gay, right? Oh, so and so she, instead of just turning him away, she just went, "I'm just gonna get blackout drunk because that's the way." You, what? <laughs> <laughs> just to see what happens, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So then, uh, anyway, so things ha- things sort of progress. He starts, you know, pulling a bit of the old move skis, mm. she, and then suddenly, he just out of nowhere, she goes, uh, "Oh, I can't do this or whatever," and then she's like. Don't fuck for that, you know. Mm. Whatever gets out of this. Anyway, five minutes later, start doing it. They get like a couple minutes in, like three minutes in, and she goes, um, "Oh, you know what? Nah, just uh, stop this. You know, it's not like ain't the vibe." Anyway, soon as her head touches the pillow, he goes, "You just took my virginity." <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine, but imagine even counting that. I would be pretty surprised, to be fair. <laughs> If I was in bed with a man <laughs> yeah. and I took his virginity, that would be mental. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. So she, she. But she got the vibe that he was a bit like gay. Yeah. So I thought she was going to get, oh, well, okay. He said he's gay. No, no. So And he's like the same age as her. And she's like, you know, maybe a bit older than us. Hmm. Not, you know. That just, is fucking yeah. embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 I'm but, 24. <laughs> <laughs> It was just yeah. Oof, so I've got six that. kids. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Well, I'm 21. And I've got six kids. You're 21. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're 21. Guys, That's come mad. on. <laughs> yes, I'm 21. Wow. I thought you were like 14. <laughs> why, are you, why are you hanging around with me then? Child <laughs> labour. It's free. Yeah. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> You're going oh, yeah, into yeah. Chris's basement after this. Mm. Oh, well, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, so and then, he, but he stayed the rest of the night. Oh, uh, no. that's it. Yeah. yeah. And then did he they at least cuddle? <laughs> <laughs> you just took my cuddling virginity. <laughs> <laughs> but he was still messaging her, trying to like... Get know, it on. Yeah, Oof. but she was like, you know, you can't even... She's like, you can't count that. That's Yeah, it doesn't count. Oh, he can't? Surely he can't count that. Oh, He's was gonna, it just like a slip in and out? I mean... <laughs> I mean, oh, not no. that you were there watching. <laughs> I didn't get, not that you know the details. I, I didn't get like the nitty gritty about you know. Ask, and yeah, then we'll tell you in the next episode. Yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's lovely. Yeah. So, who won story of the week? Oh, I thought you meant who won in the. <laughs> <laughs> who won in yeah. the bedroom? <laughs> well, it's definitely. I don't know. It's was probably he? him, really. Look, he's done it. Though. Yeah. But, yeah, because mm. he's took. He's lost his virginity, and she didn't want to shag him to begin with, and then he still ended up doing it. And then they had a cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, he's won. He's won. He's, but he's done it, yeah. story of the week. Who's uh, won? Hang on. What stories were there? I think Danny won. Danny no. didn't say anything. <laughs> no, Danny went up Snowden. Oh. He went up Snowden. Oh. Cy got blackout drunk because of a... <laughs> drink a spirit. Drunk <laughs> I drank, yeah. I drank a, a pint story, of sours. Yeah. You... Not me. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. You watched it. <laughs> and you... And you shot yourself. I threw up and shot myself, yeah. It's hard to vote. I think it's the shin. Yeah, Again. You can't win the shit in two times in a row. Yeah, but also, Simon woke up to vines on no, his account that I he know. didn't remember. I think you win, but if we find the vines, he wins. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. good proof. I like yeah. that. Yeah. He could be I don't lying. remember the username. I don't remember. He could be lying. That's the thing. If you can find them vines, he wins. Okay, I'll take that. Two wins in a row. You probably got an what email somewhere for confirmation. You're probably right, actually. Mate, if I want to go three for three, I need to make another shit story quick. <laughs> oh, you've got one in the bank. No, I'm just going to make one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make sure I have a story for next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, weekly news recap. In YouTube news, YouTuber and OnlyFans model Corinna Kopf has given David Dobrik a brand new Ferrari F8 worth around half a million dollars. Isn't that lovely? Millionaires giving millionaires Ferraris. 
Okay. I want a Ferrari. I what? mean, what would you do for a Ferrari? Let's be honest. <laughs> There's a lot I wouldn't do, to be fair. Mm. Do you know what I've put here? What would you do for a car worth that amount, and why does it involve killing a child, Simon? Because you know you would. <laughs> well, it depends what car. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, Ferrari, okay, that car then, Ferrari F8, what would you do? I wouldn't kill a kid for that. You wouldn't? No. It's worth half a million. Shit, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but, okay, what's the other car that you want? Is it worth less or more than half a million? Worth way more. Oh, God's sake. And I guess what it is, we've got his on the Cinque. Yep. That's a made-up. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. There's only five of them, them in the world. made-up, you can't. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, there's uh, there's only five of them in the world, and if one comes up to sale, it's name your own price. It's stupid. Five? No. no. You should name my own price. It's not you <laughs> name your own price. <laughs> the owner named their own price. I don't think they'll ever be sold. No. Although, I'm pretty sure one a few years ago came up like two and a half million to that. Yeah. Okay, well, for that car, what would you do? I'd kill an entire world for that car. Yeah, but then the car's not. What? Then he could have all of them. Yeah, what? They can just drive around and not so having to worry about you're going to kill every single human on Earth? If I have to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, did you see how she actually gave David the car? No. Just no. drove it through his living room window? No. So, so <laughs> she, she pranked him. So she gave him um, like a, a, a watch box. I think it... I can't... I don't know how to pronounce it, to be honest. But mm. it's an Audemars Piguet watch. Never oh, heard yeah. of it. But the average cost for a watch of that make... Is fifty thousand dollars? Sick prank. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But think about it. She put she put the key to the car in a box of a watch worth fifty grand. Even that is a fucking flex. And then she gave him a fucking car worth ten times more. Yeah. So this is a an OnlyFans creator. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. She used to she used to star in his videos as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because uh, they were friends, and then she did OnlyFans, and now I think she maybe she is richer than him, yeah. or is oh, as yeah, rich as him. She definitely is. Hundred percent. All right, you know, she, what, um, you seem to know a lot about her. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was a headline. She admitted that she makes over a million a month from OnlyFans. Wow, that's mental. What would you do for that kind of money? OnlyFans. <laughs> Get on it then. That's Wait, content, already, mate. Already am. <laughs> Are you making that kind of money? No. <laughs> Has anyone subscribed? No. <laughs> You've what got is like... it? I'll subscribe. No, it's, I'm, I don't really, guys. <laughs> <laughs> would anyone actually set up an OnlyFans here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're mad. Probably. The money you can make on yeah. it. Absolutely, I would. Yeah. Huh? Then do it. Yeah, then do it. Like, <laughs> you just good... want to see it, then? <laughs> <laughs> then you... do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You say, don't send me the link. I don't want the link. <laughs> oh, that's gross. <laughs> so you would? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you just show off your body and not. Yeah. Who already does? I'll so be... you may as well get paid for it. <laughs> Who, yeah. it's Markiplier? Doesn't he have an yeah, OnlyFans now? Yeah. yeah, I don't know whether he's like full nude or. No, but he makes money from it. Oh, yeah, he makes. He, even without OnlyFans, he was making like, what, six, 50, 60 million a year? Yeah, it's stupid money. Not as much as us, like milkmen. Not quite. Yeah, he'll get there though. He'll, he'll, get, there. he'll get there. Yeah. He'll get to our level at some point, I'm sure. Yeah, how much did we make last year? We only, we only started this year. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, how much have we made so far, guys? This in the Ferrari outside. <laughs> <laughs> I would love this at the point where the curtain behind us just falls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. We don't make anything. <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> It's not about the money, guys. Yes. It is. No, it isn't. No. Oh, no. No. <laughs> we're, all, we're all really down to earth, apart from Simon, who is obsessed with money. I'm not obsessed with it. I just like it a lot. Yeah, no, I feel you. I feel you. Chris, you would you would do it as well? You'd start an OnlyFans? Yeah. So if you did have an OnlyFans and you were earning a million a month, would you give me a car? Uh, no, fuck you. Mm. Mate, my dream car is like 50 grand. What do you mean? Yeah, that's a bit much, isn't it? You you're, you're, you're making a million. <laughs> you're making you're a, a lot there. You literally make that 50 grand back in like three days. Yeah, you're taking liberties, you Yeah, know. just because I've, I've got my, you know, I'm famous on OnlyFans. You want a car. It just doesn't yeah. sit with me. If you get in on one of the OnlyFans, <laughs> you know, we do like a joke. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Where's yeah. this going? <laughs> exactly, exactly. What, what am I doing? It? What are you doing? OnlyFans stuff. <laughs> you have to subscribe to find out. <laughs> yeah, oh, but yeah. God. No, I might. I might. Yeah, I'd, I. Yeah, go on. I'll do it. I'll give you a car. 
No, we're not saying you should. We're just we're asking if you would. Oh, the car. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> what about you, Alice? Would you give me a car? Give you a car? Um, that's a toughie, you know. That's probably the hardest question you've ever get asked me. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Damn. All right. I'd give all of you a car. No, you wouldn't. Just even if you don't have an OnlyFans. It wouldn't be a good car, but I would. <laughs> <laughs> so just one from Facebook Marketplace yeah, worth yeah. 200 quid. Of course. I'll get you all Ford KAs and we'll race them. <laughs> <laughs> Mate. Oh, that that that. That. Do you know what? Yeah. I wouldn't even care that, that it's a crap so car. That would be so funny. <laughs> okay, moving on. In gaming and YouTube news, has anyone heard of the FaZe Clan drama? I'm assuming no. you, Steve. Yep. Do you want to talk about it a little bit or do you want me no. to explain a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't find it interesting, so. It's true, I don't. <laughs> right, well, this is going to be fun. Uh, FaZe Clan drama regarding mainly Tico, which is one of the members, Rain, and some of the other original members, in quotations. So basically, what's happened is FaZe, as a company or whatever, has grown from like a little clan where people were trickshotting and sniping to a company where it's getting a bit of money to an organization where they're getting a bit more money and now they've got to the point where they're so big, they're so corporate that they've had investors invest into the company and now the people that are, were originally like owners that were making all the decisions and everything have lost the majority share. Hmm. So a lot of things are going wrong and there's like a load of drama there. So questions for you guys. Hmm. What do you think they would have done or could have done to avoid all of that drama? Choose a better name than FaZe. Fair. Got themselves cancelled, so they lost a few subscribers in it. Well, I mean, they kind of because because of all this drama that's come out, their share price has gone so far down. So I feel like it's kind of worked in their favour. Yeah. Why Do don't they uh, just three sixty no scope the investors? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could. Yeah. I hate that. I actually really like that joke. <laughs> and then next question: What would we do differently when we inevitably become one of the largest brands on the planet? That is, I like that. Start and <laughs> you just like the idea. Start you only fans. <laughs> no, it's like one day we're going to have people invest in Milkman as a brand. Like it's going to happen. <laughs> okay. That Why are you a, laughing? That was... Why are you laughing? <laughs> Keep laughing, mate. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Relax. Kill you. Yeah, if you, you could have one company invest, who would you pick? Oh, that's a good question. If I what in our company? Yeah. So if if one company could invest in Milkman, Dairy yeah. Lee Dunkers, Cravendale. <laughs> Um, Arla. Who's the makers of like pocket pussies and <laughs> Okay. I'll start I don't straight know, to it. Yeah. Why's it why's it gotta do anything with Milkman? It's just another yeah. company. He asked me another company. Jurex. Yeah. Oh, that would be funny, wouldn't it? Imagine that. Doritos. Too far. <laughs> You're a sick man. <laughs> I don't know. What would you what how what company would you want to invest in us? I so think... that we could like use any of their stuff. Oh yeah, it's gotta be like McLaren. <laughs> like that. That'd be sick. Yeah. That would be sick. Imagine having the money that McLaren does and we can just use their cars. They and... don't have much money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of it's gone into their F1 team that's not doing well. Yeah. They <laughs> had to sell a... like half of their building. I get a car out of it though. Yeah. We'll get, yeah. We'll get a car. We'll get to look at one. Yeah. <laughs> at least. Maybe we'll get driving like 10 metres. McLaren, if you're interested, email us. You After are one we've of my just friends. Yeah. After we've just absolutely told Oh, they're actually really shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested. <laughs> to be honest, no, no. We, don't, we don't want you. McLaren's so. like one of my favourite car brands. Oh, no, like, yeah. They make some fucking awesome cars, but fat, they are no. going bankrupt. Stop trying to save it. It's not worth <laughs> saving. They are going bankrupt. <laughs> like so. it was going to happen anyway. What, McLaren? Yeah. They're gonna... You reckon? I don't think they will. No, uh, yeah, it depends. All right. Because uh, obviously they're putting like 90% of all. their profits into the F1 <laughs> team. <laughs> anyway. isn't doing well. At all, maybe right. because they've got shit drivers. Why? Why are you anyway. shitting on McLaren? Yeah. No, McLaren will be fine because they've got like such heritage. Bring back yeah. Daniel Ricciardo. Ferrari then. Oh fuck off! Ferrari will be fine. Mm. No, yeah. Fra Ford. Ferrari will be fine. It's their front team that won't be fine. Oh my god, that's not what I was asking. Is oh, it? you're talking about investing? Yeah. No, I don't. No, want yeah, no. Okay. Well, okay, thanks. Other company? Any other company? Pagani. Porsche. <laughs> I thought you were going a different That's way with that. Just what? Back to well, why is it all to do with cars? I don't know. You've just got to sort because, of like yeah. Think about it. Why would a car company invest in us? <laughs> How sick would that be, though? It would be quite yeah, sick. Yeah, it we, would, but it's just not going to happen, is it? Just, just road get, trip like, their cars yeah, across country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they will. Uh, Volvo. Yeah. Sassanyong. <laughs> <laughs> Suzuki. That's the okay. ticket right there. All right, and then when we do inevitably become a little bit bigger, what is the first role that you would want to hire as one of the Milkman team. So it's not 
anyone that's on camera. It's just someone that works. Editor. Someone that just like editor. Oh yeah, because you're so fucking off your feet with editing. <laughs> no, you literally no, haven't done no, it. No, but it takes it off everyone, like you and Ellis. Yeah, fair. Cheers, mate. Just the guy that's actually he's, he's literally just trying to help us out. Like, <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck with you? Back to you. Ooh, catering. Ooh. Ooh. I could do that. No. <laughs> you're what? No. We've <laughs> asked you to do content related to food and you're like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Awful idea. <laughs> <laughs> I actually Damn. hate food, yeah. <laughs> I know I don't look like it. <laughs> but I hate Is that a fat joke? <laughs> Could be. Anyway. Uh, how about just a guy that like f- gives you foot rubs or something? <laughs> a foot rub guy. Yeah. A yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that a very nice foot rub? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, moving on. If you haven't already, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok with the handle at WatchMilkMen for behind the scenes and extra content, and also because I'll personally give you one of Stephen's teeth. Once again, follow us yeah, on Twitter. Wouldn't want that. <laughs> yeah, <it's too laughs> you wouldn't want that. <laughs> you wouldn't want. Well, you don't know what they want. So make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok with the handle at WatchMilkMen. All right, curdle conversation. Conversation between the six of us where we delve into the hypotheticals of the world's most notorious and despicable questions. Hypothetical question for today. What would you do if you found a dead body in a hotel room? Uh, I'm looking at uh, Stephen because I know he's been in this situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did I kill them? You said you, you found me, it. mate. You, you found tell the body, me. so you just could So the normal thing to do, <laughs> so we get police. that out of the way, is okay, call yeah. the police. Now I've said that. This is what we would do. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it out the window. Fuck it. He went straight to 11. Even if it's a man. <laughs> <You know? laughs> wow. Oh my God. It doesn't make it any better whether it's a man or a woman, Chris. <laughs> I didn't actually specify that it's a human either. So it, mm, it's just a dead body. It's just, like, just a cow. I'd fuck it. I'd fuck what? it. You lot. I, I'm not with them. I didn't say that. I just said, oh, And I said to call the police. Why, why are you saying that? Yeah, and then you said, that's the normal thing to do. As yeah. if it's not what you would as do. In, no, as in, I know somebody else is going to say something fucked. Him. <laughs> literally. Yeah, literally. Danny said that he would fuck it. Right, moving on. Alice, what would you do? Probably check its pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Rob it. <laughs> Fair. I'd see what size feet they were. <laughs> oh, no. For sick reasons. I just want some new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you freaks. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I walk in, you're just there sucking on a toe. Oh, no. <laughs> Probably just hang out Cut for the bit. ear off. <laughs> as a trophy. I saw a bit of company. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. That's the third one this week. <laughs> Probably get a DNA test, check it for my dad. It could be, to be fair. You never know. Mm. Even if it's a woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> you said just a body. Yeah. Yeah. Never know. Stay. Complain to the desk. <laughs> Mate. I'm sorry, but I've got to change my head. There's a corpse in there. Oh, this makes me want to tell the quick story. It's not even my story as well. Um, when we went to Liverpool oh, and God. with your brother, yeah. do you want to tell it? Because you probably know more. <laughs> the yeah. worst hotel ever. Yeah. 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 Well, there's just so mm-hmm. many things went wrong. Mm. So first of all, like... Shall we call out the hotel as well? Yeah, the Adelphi in Liverpool. Mm. Never right. go there. Okay. Like, so the, the rooms literally just didn't have lights. Yeah, so first of all, yeah, you'd, <laughs> you'd go in. There, no there, was no, yeah, there was no overhead lighting. They just had like creepy lamps. So it made mm. like dead creepy in there. Mm. And then there was like, I was sharing with like my brother and it was just a, a double bed instead of two singles. So <laughs> not ideal. I think your room just absolutely stank of smoke. Yeah, so we walked in. So, so I walked into my room and it just absolutely reeked of cigarettes, like yeah. proper bad. And then my girlfriend was like, "Oh, well, you know, deal with it. Open the window." I was like, "Are you joking? <laughs> I will literally get cancer if I stay in here. <laughs> like, what are you chatting?" So we we went downstairs and then uh, Chris and his brother text me. Me and Danny Alice. and Ellis had texted me yeah, saying, "Yeah, we've both got different. double beds. Like, we yeah. should have twin rooms, and we don't." So then I went down and sorted it all. But then, yeah, and then Chris's uh, brother. Yeah, my brother goes. His other brother, by the way, in another yeah. di- a different room as well. <laughs> he goes, have, uh, have you seen this? And he like, took a picture. And then there was just a fucking needle in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. That's just, fucked up. That's normal just stuff. Yeah, crazy. But what's even more fucked up is that he continued to pay for his room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he then, went down to the lobby and then he just went, yeah, excuse me, sorry, there's a, there's a needle in my yeah, room. Yeah, it was a bit... 
yeah. he was just so funny about it and then he tried to say to us like oh yeah I did shout but he yeah we know what he's like he's, but... he's like you <laughs> just a fucking pussy <laughs> but he goes then they go oh we'll clean it we'll, we'll get rid of it for you like yeah. they weren't going to do that anyway do yeah. you know what I mean yeah and it then... should have been done anyway before <laughs> yeah. you got in there oh yeah. you mean your job you're going to you're gonna do your job oh that's crazy oh thank you <laughs> and then as if you would stay in that room like where someone's been injecting drugs yeah. or whatever yeah. they've been doing it was doing. probably like for diabetes or something like that it was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you're really it, was, it was Simon the night before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's mad, isn't it? So yeah, we're never going there again. No, although it was handy. It handy. made for a story. It yeah. definitely did. This is Simon's story about that night. What? what? <laughs> oh yeah. What happened? The most eventful of, of all of us. I just went to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Everybody went to sleep at like eight. Yeah, oh yeah, so, we, we were supposed to go out, yeah, weren't we? And then he just, we didn't he hear just didn't, from Simon. He didn't reply to anyone. Because <laughs> he was just, like, out, mate. Out, he out. just went to sleep. <laughs> I was fully closed there and I was just like, <laughs> face down on bed, mate. Just, passed just out. on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> With the corpse. What, 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 what? <laughs> That's how we got there. I'm surprised we didn't find a dead body in that yeah, hotel. Yeah, it, it, it was probably one in one of the rooms, mate. Yeah. There's a lot of rooms in I mean, we... To be fair, we were like halfway there to thinking you were dead. <laughs> so, yeah, Jesus, yeah, we're not going there again. But it was, it was handy how close it was. But yeah, yeah it, was, it, was it was in the middle of shame. Liverpool. Yeah. But it was a shame that it was just, just shit. It's like one of the so most popular hotels mm. in Liverpool as well. Yeah. Shame well, it's just gone downhill so much. Yeah, I th- I, yeah, because it, it used to be like on a TV show. Because I, I remember yeah. the day before that we went, I was telling my boss, and then he, uh, that we were going out, like all of us. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he goes, oh, where are you staying in Liverpool? And I said, the Adelphi. And then he was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I just went, oh, don't say that. And he was telling me stories about like how it used to be really nice and then it's sort of gone downhill since then. But he said he went there once and it was like 10 of them in a room because they were like doing a stag night or whatever. Okay. And he ended up sleeping on the floor. Next day, he had like bites all over him and a rash from the floor. But he said his mate that was in the bed was fine. So just don't sleep on the floor. Yeah, that's what yeah. he said. Just don't sleep on the floor, and you'll be fine. Yeah, what a weird place. And do you remember when the the lift was just shit? So yeah. we'd sit the stairs. Oh my god! Do you remember coming out of the lift as well? And there was just it was like you'd go into the lift, go up to your room, do whatever you need to do, come back, go down the lift, and you'd come out in a different room. Yeah, like not so in the funny. lobby. So it was like I thought we went into the back rooms. I I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> it was so scary. <laughs> I found it quite yeah. ironic that when we were there, there was a um, like a do going on for like six formers or yeah. college students that talked a bit like this, and they were totally like cunts, really yeah. pompous and whatnot, mm-hmm. and they were in the Adelphi. Yeah, it just made no sense. Like they were dressed up really. The suits that they were wearing were probably worth more than the hotel. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, uh, bonus question: What language do people speak in their heads if they were born deaf? It's more of a question for you. They were born deaf. They were born, born deaf. deaf. Surely they just visualise sign language, innit? Mm. Right. That's yeah. actually probably the best answer. Yeah, because they don't know they don't know what sound mm. any sound is. Okay, so what if you were born deaf and blind? How do you think? Can nope. you think? Yeah. It's just blank all the time. But what is <laughs> blank? Nothing. You know what I mean? Like think about that. Like people that were born blind, they don't see like black or white or they just see nothing because they just can't mm. how 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 because it try can. and imagine that you just can't can you i don't know mate. why are you asking me you go ask them <laughs> you were you in the coma <laughs> <laughs> when i was in the coma all i saw was black that was it yeah. what you remember being in a coma no <laughs> it's just so like you, sleeping you just like going for a nap in it i've heard people that say like say if they've got one eye like an eye missing they mm. say imagine like looking through your elbow like it doesn't make any sense because what? You, that's how you see because there's, there's, there's nothing there so imagine like you had an eye on your elbow you know what I mean but no. you can't see from your elbow so you can't oh do you know what I mean whoa no, yeah I that's kind of like, it's like that that's how they word it damn would you rather be blind or deaf um deaf deaf, deaf. 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 blind's yeah. like the worst thing mm. alright <laughs> imagine not all, being all able our to blind see. viewers it's like fucking Steven <laughs> old prick yeah definitely deaf yeah imagine not being able to see Simon's OnlyFans it would just <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hearing it though. Yeah, the, the audio <laughs> description. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. I'd find it quite peaceful to be deaf as well. I thought you said it'd be quite peaceful to listen to my own. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Before, took it into bed like <laughs> <white noise>. <laughs> <laughs> Like putting an audio book on. 
<laughs> what kind of noises would be made? It doesn't matter. <laughs> just scream. Yeah. It's just yeah. like every every sort of four or five seconds, just one grunt. <laughs> <laughs> why, is it, why is it every four or five seconds? <laughs> I don't want to get out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you just do impressions on your fo- um, fucking OnlyFans <coughs> it's just like no, I do grunts in impressions <laughs> like came in the front <laughs> <laughs> oh I didn't know God. if that was Kermit or Shakira <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move on before this gets even okay. weirder so this is a bit of a different segment because we haven't actually sort of delved into this really mm. but our future like Milkmen on YouTube and online where do we want to go with it? Where do we want to go to with it? To the top. To the top. In terms Tippy of... top, mate. What is the top? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming everyone's agreed that Mr. Beast is at the top mm. of YouTube right now. Okay. Right, maybe not that far. That's a bit stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to go just that far. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get just underneath him. You know, I don't want to yeah, we, we don't want any transphobic hate coming our way. Exactly. Why, well, you're planning... Um, <laughs> transitioning Ellis <laughs> he's got a five year plan <laughs> Oof. it's a good question but it's kind of very broad because mm. we have no idea where the future lies see what but... happens in it see what happens you know bloody hell I'm glad I asked I reckon the five of you will do really well <laughs> <laughs> where are you going what? lad <laughs> he's not going to make it for five <laughs> he knows <laughs> his <laughs> only fans is going to kick off I've always yeah. said 27 will be my cough. That's <laughs> <laughs> got really he's dark. Making, Mate, yeah. I asked about Milkman's future and he just said him, he's going to kill himself at 27. <laughs> he's going to join the 27 club, isn't he? You've got him. Exactly. He's, he's committed to it. Club. we got to churn out the there, content yeah. then. Fucking hell. Yeah, fucking hell. We've got to get busy. Quick, make Quick. a TikTok, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get your dolphin for the TikTok. <laughs> Bit more of a specific question then, if okay. you didn't like that one, Ellis. Prick. Um, have you got any ideas for like future series or videos that you'd want to do like doesn't matter about money doesn't matter about how much it costs or what you're doing like anything what would you what would you do want to do all of you I, I think it's quite a broad question then oh, you don't no, <laughs> I like the idea we just had before everyone just gets a cheap car and we just fucking dick about yeah, yeah. I'd love that I, like but not like maybe not like dick about maybe like do like a road trip yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What I, was I love the is, idea like, we split into it's Three teams of two, right? Like five grand each. Mm. Go buy a car, road trip it to like the Nurburgring or something, and see how many like see if we can survive a lap and then get it back. But like challenges on the yeah. way, and yeah, yeah. Sort of like basically that top gear, team. pretty much. Basically, <laughs> Grand Tour. Yeah, can me, can me and Danny be on a team. Yeah, I think that's fair. No, I was thinking because I was thinking that's like an exact sideman video, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Is well, it? you know, you're the fan boy. They've done. They've done. Do you get their own car? They do it up. Oh up. yeah, they have. Yeah, I remember the different teams. Yeah, but we'd do it better. But, yeah, yeah, we could say like, they were them videos. Us. There, like they're the like peak you want to try and do. Mm. Them type of videos, do like, the road so, trips, so like, the challenges, and then even like the holiday videos. Yeah, mm. that'll be. Imagine that going on holiday together. That'd where, be cool. where would we go? Anywhere. Let's let's choose well, individually. Like where would we go for a milkman video for a holiday? Where would we most like to go. Yeah, Afghan. Yeah. No. That's just <laughs> okay, that's that's solidified it. Simon, um, where would you want to go for a milkman video? Not for pure pleasure, but for us to content. Uh, somewhere in Japan. I was going to say Japan. Fuck Ooh, you. That would be a good one. That would be sick. <laughs> you, from that other video, yeah. the futuristic city. <laughs> no, that is sick. Though. There's so much more. Is he is he just that. copying the Sidemen on every? Yeah, prick. Right. Am I not allowed to go to Japan because the Sidemen? <laughs> <laughs> we can't do anything. Have the Sidemen, sidemen done this yeah. ever, or anything relating to this subject? <laughs> yes. No, you can't do it. <laughs> I really want to go to um, Las Vegas because oh, I've... Oh, they've been a bit. <laughs> Have they? Yeah. Ah, go. damn it. But um, mm. I've got an idea in mind of what we can do there. But I won't Throw disclose that. Pardon? Throw a life saving. That away. too, but... Speak I've, for yourself. I've I'm going to win. I think it would be dangerous in Las Vegas. Oh, quiz. Mm. Las, Las Vegas, Vegas is supposed quit, to be sick. Like, win. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's supposed to be really good. Have you seen that big zip line thing they do? Yeah. yeah. That yeah. looks cool. It's like right down the strip, like into like this... Oh, shit. Well, that's definitely happening there. Yeah, like you don't actually have to do... You're gonna do gambling. But you know, there's like low more to do. Than Apparently, gambling. there's yeah, amazing. No, Steve, Steven, there. Steven has a really cool fact about gambling. Actually, all gamblers quit right before they win winning big. big. No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> How many times fact. have you heard that from yeah. him? Gamble. So many times. Mm. Fellas, I mean, you should do it. No, I shouldn't. He should do what? 
gamble. No, he shouldn't. <laughs> that's a very Fucking poor hell, life Steven. choice. You should gamble. Like, you like seeing him suffer, but that's a new level. All right, I'm, before he spirals into like a mental fucking haze. I'm already thinking I'm, about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's already booked the trip. <laughs> it's sort of related because you were talking about Simon. What other YouTuber or group or whatever would you want to do a video with? No, no one. Don't care. Do you not watch YouTube? <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, I don't know who I would though. Like Beta Squad and Simon are the obvious choices. Who's Beta Squad? Shut up, Ellis. I've literally <laughs> never heard All of right, them. What about the Misfits? That would be mm. funny as fuck. Well, I mean, don't I, you think? Aren't, aren't they like half dead? No, they're coming back. Yeah. Yeah. They, they've they, started they've been uploading that. so much now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they've started cool. making videos and everything. Mm. Nice. Yeah, that would be funny. I think that would be Trip really to funny. Australia. Yeah. What, is that where they all live? Mm -hmm. Well, New Zealand. Australia. Mostly Australia. Yeah. Chris? Raka Raka. Oh, oh ooh, yeah. He's just made a film. Yeah, he has. And it's, um, it's getting uh, distributed what's the fucking word distributed thank you by A24 which is like a really high yeah. top tier film brand so mm. big up Raka Raka yeah. nice okay next question which is sort of related who do you relate us to in relation to like another group well what? the aforementioned ones are what do you mean what how's that confusing so like, who do you compare yourself group? to or like what individual in the group any Bell Delphine. <laughs> is that Wait, who, who's in relation to that? Is that you? I'm looking at him right now. They do look alike, to be fair. <laughs> the bath water tastes the same. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> what? Oh, you are right. I mean, that's what I got right here, though. <laughs> it's clearer than the last time. <laughs> oh, that is just not Less right. yellow. <laughs> um... I think like the one that sticks out to me because it's like how quality their stuff is, it's just Grand Tour. It's just mm. like how they go about making stuff or like it's not perfectionism, but you know, they're they're off the cuff but also they're fucking you know. Like they make really, 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 really good content. Mm. I can relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right, last question for you. Who would you want to do a brand deal with? Hobnobs. <laughs> Why? Wasn't that just McVitie's? Can it, can it be another content creator for like, say, a merch line? Uh, no. What? No, I, that's, that doesn't make any sense. Idiot. We've got a merch line. Why would yeah, we promote we, other merch? We collab merch. Like, make oh, merch like the Sidemen. Side Sidemen. Uh, yeah. Side, right. Sidemen and SpongeBob and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. Side right. right. If you'd have worded it like that, I'd have got Is that you. real? What would right. the, how would you combine Sidemen and Milkmen in a word? Milky Mil side men? The men men. Side men. <laughs> the side men. <laughs> Milk men. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Milk so side? Milk the thing side. is you genuinely said that. Yeah. Yeah. You were even joking. I said side men and milkmen yeah. as an idea. Yeah, he's yeah. like <laughs> Milky sides. Yeah. That sounds I mean, really isn't really their weird. company yeah, like sides. their food things called sides? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Uh side of milk? No. Yeah, I like that. I don't. Because it like this is ever gonna happen, Simon. You don't know that. <laughs> A side of milk. It's set in motion. I'll get on the phone to KSI. Although you don't really have to like combine the names, you could just put Sidemen X. Yeah. Then. You could do that. So is that yours? That's who you'd want to do? No, I don't care for the Sidemen at all. Well, right. Who would you go well, for then? Um, Adam Elsey. Who? A, it's, just, um, it's just another car guy. It's, yeah, it's another car. <laughs> for fuck's sake. It's just same. It's literally anything about a car, he just wanks himself off about it. Sometimes. You don't even have a car. Like, Yet. Doesn't make any sense. Yet. What car would you get first? Jag. Okay. <laughs> Tory. Sometimes. <laughs> if, if I was a millionaire, I'd be a Tory. I don't give a fuck. All right. Stephen, who would you want to do a brand deal with? I have no idea. Brilliant. Simon? Um, Cheers for your input, Steve. Kinder. <laughs> Kinder? <laughs> yeah. Like a chocolate bar. Yeah, like, do you know how many buenos I could get? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason. Yeah. You don't even promote their stuff. It's just I so... just get the buenos yeah, and leave. Yeah. I'd, I'd love that. Or like Kinder Eggs as well. Get that don't be toys. stupid. All right, too far. That's there's there's just no yeah, return for, for them. One. You just get Kinder. Yeah, I just get Kinder products and disappear off the face of the earth. <laughs> Ellis? I'm trying to think of the name of the brand because they're quite controversial. Um, Balenciaga. <laughs> oh, that would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be fucking class. <laughs> um, no, it's like 
uh, like a food brand, kind of. They've got like really bad ethics. I can't remember the name. Nestle. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Thank yeah. you, man. Eh? Nestle. Yeah. Uh, what? What's wrong with them? What have they done? They've just got really shit practices and like, like. Have they? Yeah. Have you heard about this? Mm. It's like under uh, the radar, but it's been going on for fucking decades. And Nestle wants to do cornflakes and that. I'm Nestle? sure they do. Nestle cornflakes. There's Kellogg's. They do. Fuck. Oh, that's Kellogg's. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get. I was trying to get. I was like, Hang I, can, on. I need to know Nestle. what Nestle have done. Yeah, well, you can oh, Google it in your own time. Nestle. You can. Yeah. Chocolate. All I know is that. Asking you. I don't Shout. know specifics of it, mate. I don't work for them. Just poor practices. That's all I know. It's just yeah. like animal yeah, testing but, and stuff. But anyway, I'd love to be one of them animals. <laughs> just eating a load of chocolate. <laughs> just eating a load of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just getting them as dogs. Yeah. <laughs> He's feeding them to dogs all day. <laughs> He's just murdering animals in the thousands. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that's, you got me. That's yeah. really got him. Yeah, that tickled me. That. Just watching, they know it. They know. We <laughs> <laughs> need an Fuck animal yeah. to test the Let's chocolate. Test the- <laughs> Why does our chocolate keep killing animals? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, oh my god! That's funny. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> Chris, um, hang on. What was the question? <laughs> brand. <laughs> Who would you want to do a brand deal with? Oh yeah. Okay. What uses like animal fur then? <laughs> oh god. Uh, Canada goose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, you yeah. go. Yeah. Um, oh, brand deal. See, I would choose a car. You know what I mean? I know. He I just know, wants but, a free car. Yeah. How the opportunity's I'm, there? Well, I'm I sensing a no. theme here. <laughs> yeah, I would go with like, okay, Aston Martin or something. Ooh, good choice. Mm. For me, it'd be Red Bull, just because they always do mad shit. Yeah, that's a good shout. Yeah, but you go and shit on beaches when you drink. <laughs> yeah, it's not but I'd be sponsored by Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how many it? beaches he could shit on? Yeah. Sp- from like, sponsored shit in, like he does it from like different heights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he did do a sport. Yeah. Different beaches, different waves. It'd be like Felix like, Baumgart, and you're just outside well, you're of the surfing. As the shit just comes out of the atmosphere, drop him one out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all sorts, all sorts of shit. So, I actually yeah. like that That's idea. A good tagline. Exactly. Because they would fund me to go to places to surf and I want that. Yeah. And then I'll be at the beach as well. <laughs> <laughs> just cheering me on, just <laughs> mid shit. Go on, Ellis. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I think that'd be cool. Do you reckon you could shit on command though? Do you know what I mean? The pressure. I'm doing it right now. What? Yeah. Mate, what do you mean? What? Uh, what? You know, like, do you not sit on the toilet and go, uh, right, and, and then you've done it. You just wait for it to start falling out. No, like, I'm that's just not saying that. Like, you got an audience there. You know what I mean? St- a bit of stage fright and that going. <laughs> stage fright? What are you talking about? I'm just Mate, saying. Why are you shitting shit? on a stage? <laughs> you would be if you were sponsored by Red That's Bull. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you're, like, sponsored by Red Bull and that, you've got a load of people watching. Yeah. Do you they go, no, no, no you, you, you're desperate. You know what I mean? They're like, you've got to know, wait, wait until we're in fucking whatever <laughs> yeah, they're doing. Be fine. You'd be fine? I think he would as well, to be honest. You didn't have to take a load of laxatives when it was making messy. Well, I know. Well, Why would I want to yeah. do that? <laughs> <laughs> They're always messy for you, aren't they, anyway? I'm not a weirdo, Chris. Uh huh. You just admitted to wanting to be sponsored to shit on beaches. No, I didn't. That's not where I went with it. I just that's said. To be fair, that's where I went with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just said that would be part of it. <laughs> and a welcome part. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think people do. What about you? What brand do you like? Tesco. <laughs> yeah, right. like milky bars. Oh, I do milky like milky bars. bars. It's got milk in the name, and it's nice. It's not. It's not milky. It's, it's milky safe bar. answer. Probably the worst chocolate though. Ah, that was a that was a safe answer. It was it's just not. I don't like chocolate, so milky bars. Nice. What are you two bickering about? You went to the worst chocolate. Oh yeah, you're an idiot. Yeah, yeah. it's all you're right. You're no the kind of person who likes yeah. Hershey's. Okay. I don't like so most stupid. chocolates, so fuck you all. I'm eating wrong. the worst Harry Bows as well. Idiot, mate. I'm I'm eating the ones you fucking bought me. Yeah, what do you there mean? Wasn't, there wasn't any tangfastics, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, moving on. Final segment. Unless anyone's got anything else to say. No. Simon's Milk Facts, where Simon says one of his favourite facts about milk off the cuff, and he definitely doesn't have one again. Yeah, do that. Oh, you do? I've got one. Okay, go on. In Russia, right? Back in day, <laughs> to keep milk from going sour, they used to put a frog in it. What? Fuck off. I swear. That's not true. And it worked. 
That you isn't get, just not I true. I promise you that's true. Did not taste froggy or something. I don't, I don't know how I made the milk taste. All I'm saying is it, it didn't go sour. sour. <laughs> it tasted fucking awful. But it wasn't <laughs> sour. <laughs> how did, what? That that's doesn't make mad. any sense. And how did they find that out? Like frogs got yeah, in the milk. A frog like, just got in by accident. Yeah. yeah. This milk's been out for days. There's a frog in it. <laughs> and then they drank it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they they would do that. They would Seriously. drop a live frog in a uh, in a the milk bucket, as they say. Would, would the frog die? No, they can drowns. breathe underwater. But it's milk. It's underwater. Though. It's milk, though. It's hang the same on, fucking thing. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Fucking okay, so it, it, it large, says here, the Russians weren't sure how the amphibian da- dairy treatment worked, but they were convinced it did. That doesn't necessarily mean uh, it actually worked. But it it's just they were like, convinced it yeah, did. They were, they were probably, off milk. Yeah, they were still probably off their head by drinking <laughs> yeah. the sour, disgusting milk. It was like the poisonous dart frog thing, yeah. didn't it? <laughs> they were just like drugged up. Look, you asked for a fact. There it is. <laughs> yeah. That, That's actually that really, that really a cool fact. That was a good fact. Cheers, mate. How do you know that if you had... I remembered. From what? Well, How did you find well, that out? After the last one, where I completely forgot, <laughs> <laughs> I was then thinking of other stuff, okay. and I remembered. Where did you hear it? I don't remember. Russia. <laughs> <In Russia. laughs> yeah, when I went. I don't remember. I just have useless information, like shit in my head all the time. Simon was the one that tested the theory. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that still thinks it's true. I might do it at home, see what happens. Yeah, he puts a frog in every I wouldn't. Milk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you got sour milk? That's the question. Well, I will. Well, no, I won't. I'll have a frog in it, mate. <laughs> yeah. I wonder sour. what else that works with as well, like to stop it from going like off. Or yeah, whatever. I heard like if if you put chocolate flavouring in the milk, if it, a newt, not a frog. Oh, so it works yeah. differently with chocolate milk. Different flavours, different animals, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you get like a fucking gorilla in one. Strawberries and goldfish. It's too weird. <laughs> this is just the fucking stupidest conversation ever. Has <laughs> yeah. anyone got... An, oh, fuck it. Right, I hope we'll not. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow. Thank you for watching the bi-weekly podcast. Maybe next time we'll do it straight weekly, am I right? <laughs> anyway, uh, feel free to subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> You'll get early access to our videos, bonus content, more like boner content, am I right? Uh, monthly toe pictures, merchandise, discounts, signed postcards, and your name in the videos. We produce and more. Uh, okay, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive a month link, a month long supply of Simon's wet nappies. I'm already in supply of those. Trust me, you're going to want them. Uh, make sure to click that bell to be notified for future content. And as always, I've never done this before, so why am I saying that? But just, you know, nice to see you, you sexy, sexy motherfuckers. Bye.